This episode is sponsored by the following Patreons. Thank you so, so much for supporting this show. If you want to be a Patreon and get exclusive benefits, you can sign up at a link in the description. Players are competing for a one-of-a-kind totem pole prize package. The winner will receive a cash prize, merch, and their own totem pole spin-off show that will air after season three. For your final challenge, you're going to solve a puzzle. The answer to every question in this puzzle is an eliminated player from the game. You will have three tries to get this puzzle right. You'll have five minutes to complete your puzzle. Touch the totem pole, and when we say go, you come in and start your puzzle. On your mark, get set, go! And I'm trying to figure out all this information, but it's just not clicking, and I'm really struggling on getting everything together in my head and really understanding what happened throughout the game. The fact that the game is switching up once again and we're not doing the basic one challenge and they place the top of the totem pole and eliminate two people, there's now a switch, a defender, and a vote in the final round of the game. This changes everything and Jace's two closest allies just left. He's going to be the switch, 100%. If he wins this top of the totem pole, it's game over. I know a couple of these, but the rest of them I'm kind of guessing. Purple blocks? I immediately know that I have red blocks, and I assume they went in rainbow order, so red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Kadia was next to me, so I gave her orange. Jace was next to her, I gave him yellow. On the far end of that line was Luke. I put Luke for the purple block question. Okay, thank you. On your mark, get set, go! and I uncover that puzzle, let me tell you, I was pissed. I was pissed. I had no idea it was going to be about the actual challenges. I forgot the names of the challenges. I forgot what each challenge entailed. Everything said baggage, baggage, baggage. And I'm just kind of like, what? Like, I, my mind was just kind of like fried. So I had to literally take a second and be like, what? What is each thing? Like, what is literally each challenge entailed? Who had the purple blocks? I'm like, I wasn't looking at who had purple blocks. I'm just concerned we're trying to get my own thing up.
You know what? It's out of my hands. I'm walking out of it. Thank you. Thank you. On your mark. Get set. Go. get into this challenge it's nothing of what I was expecting I was expecting them to be asking us about who won what round what totem pole whose place where on the totem pole it had nothing to do with that so I'm literally just trying to figure out this challenge and figure out what goes where because right now I'm shook I was not prepared for none of these questions I do know a couple of them so I'm gonna try to do the ones that I know and we'll see what happens but right now I'm just I'm not too confident I'm really not too confident about this challenge and I I just don't know. I really don't know. I'm trying hard, trying to figure out what exactly goes where, but it's literally, it's 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 it's, it's too much right now. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot going on. My first thought is that I need to win this because it is so close to the end of the game and this is the only way to guarantee myself a spot in that final three. And I literally start thinking about everything that happened in the game. I'm counting placements, I'm counting who won what challenge win. I'm literally trying to figure out anything I can because there's so many, there's so much pressure to this. I literally just sit home. Kadia and Luke, those are Jason's number one allies. We cannot let Jace win this challenge. If Jace wins this round, I'm gonna be in the bottom of the total pole, so he can't win. He literally cannot win this challenge. The question about who received the first weight, I'm thinking it's Luke because he did really well in the first couple rounds, so I'm thinking that somebody may have put baggage on him, but I'm not sure. I need to get it together. I've got to think and do this fast. If I don't, I am out, so I need to figure this out. My mind is literally going blank. If, if Jace wins this, I, I know it's over. I, it's over for me. I have to figure out something. I gotta get this together. Derek, what are you doing? Literally, oh. Okay. trying to hide myself up right now I, I my biggest thought is is I have to keep my emotions my anxiety my my stress level under control I'm literally like in there like trying to get myself pumped up I'm like this is my moment this is this is do or die and I'm trying I gotta get my head right before this I can't go in there nervous I can't go in there like worried I have to go in there like this is my challenge and I'm freaking taking it on your mark get set go Strategy is to knock out the ones uh, that are that I know I know. You know what I'm saying? And so I um, I know that Kadia had the purple blocks. I'm positive for that. I ask. Wes to check um, because the way I understood the challenge was is you can check at any point to see if what you have down is correct and you can go from there. So my strategy was is to knock out the ones I know, check it, uh, check it. You're incorrect. If you don't have the moment to work, is that incorrect or not? Oh. Wes, does that count against me? Yes. So I have Wes check it, and he's like, it's an automatic, no, really wrong, because you don't have the whole thing filled out. And I'm like, what good is checking? Like, 
Oh, and then I'm, I'm then I'm like knocked off because I'm like I misunderstood the way like the challenge worked, my strategies off. I don't know. It's getting to me. I'm feeling a little confident, but at the same time, I am burning way too much time, and I'm flustered. I'm angry at Wes because I swear he's coming for me. He's coming for me every time, and I'm just like, ah, oh, it's killing me. Come on in. One of my last members needs to win this challenge. We have to. It, it, it's, it's, it's brutal. It's brutal that we win. It's very important. Up first, Shane. You had two correct. Take the lead. It took, he got two correct in three minutes and 26 seconds. Up next, Josh, you had two correct. You got that in three minutes and 40 seconds. You did not. Jace, you got three correct. You took the lead. He timed out at five minutes. <laughs> Derek, you had two correct. Jace, you're still in the lead. Sabrina, you had four correct. Congratulations, Sabrina. You are on the top of the totem pole. Good job. Congrats. You wanted it, you got it. So happy for you. Still the only one here? Who has a one-one? Me too! Oh, you too! It's okay. I win! Woohoo! And so that means I am in the final three and I'm so excited. But I still have some work to do and I have to do the placement of the totem pole. Honestly, I'm excited. Jace didn't win. I know that Sabrina is the only person safe this round, but we can vote out Jace now. Let's do it. Seth, I want to talk to you, but I want to talk to you if I'm going to go to the bottom as soon as we finish our conversation, Jace. <laughs> <laughs> Shocked. I thought I had it. I, I got moved to the to the front, um, but I did not. So, um, 
Anyway, Sabrina's gonna rank how she's gonna rank. I'll probably be at the bottom. Cause I have a feeling you're gonna be the switch. Yeah, I think it's pretty obvious. It's obvious. Right. If you're not the switch, it's they did you dirty. Yeah. Cause you stuck your neck out for them last week. <laughs> you stuck your neck out for them really far. So um, we all, I think everyone has the idea that you're gonna yeah. be the switch. Um, and that's that's where I'm at. Is I'm like. I don't know whether to try and talk to Derek and uh, get an alliance with him and maybe like say, hey, like, you know, like, but he could still turn his back and be like, I don't. Yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? We're, just, <laughs> we're just talking about the switch and stuff. I'm sorry? We're just talking about who's going to This, okay, it feels like, like Final V Tony, brother. Yes. Like, it's yeah. the same kind of situation. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, yeah, what I'm matter. doing honestly does not affect what's yeah. going to happen mm -hmm. because somebody's going to be the switch, probably going to be you, so mm -hmm. I'm just saying, like, I mean, mm -hmm. you got to think that's yeah. probably going to be you, but let's say either way, like, it, nothing's going to matter until yeah. we get to the vote, like, because it's all going to change, mm -hmm. Yeah. so I don't want to be, ready to be, like, upset with, like, how I put rankings because, like, yeah. it's going to change, yeah. I, I can't, I mean, I yeah, just to be honest, like it's not gonna just make a difference. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Can I talk to you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I mean, you gotta talk to the three of us? Okay. So, I'm trying to, I'm trying to strategize, and I'm trying to strategize and not like, um, Figure out how I'm gonna wind up with the least, the least amount of votes when we go to vote camp. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. Cause like, cause like I said, I think you're the switch, and I, if you're not, I'd be super shocked. Very surprised. I will be like completely thrown up, thrown up. Like, mm -hmm. um, been surprised before though. No, I know. Yeah. <laughs> the, the last couple we've been right. Mm -hmm. Last so, couple we've been right. Yeah. When so, we got it. I was like, Whoa. yo, when I got it, I was like, excuse me, like I was like, how did I get that? So with me losing the challenge, I was a little worried, but I also. Everyone, I felt safe with everyone. You know, I told Jay's I want to go against you because, you know, I feel like we're both on the same level, you know, playing field. I've been working with Sabrina and Shane very closely the entire time and I've done a lot for them. So hopefully they won't just cut me at the end like this. And me and Derek have had some type of relationship this entire time. I don't think Derek would change up on me like that. So hopefully with everyone telling me these things and just my intuition, I should be good. Whoever chooses to take because I see you doing out. that. I see you. I mean, that's that's I, my first inclination. Right, which I wouldn't be like super mad about. I don't know what you're doing. Okay. Because let's man, be let's be real. Like, we have to go Shane out because I don't want to get voted out. And that's that's where well, I stand. Well, uh, yeah, you have to. Talk and about ideally, it. I will say this, and I've been saying from the beginning. I when I go in the final three, I want to go against the people who have played the game. Because if I win, I don't want to win against like a coaster, someone who's kind of like. And none of them, no one has coasted, but no. I think out of like the top five, we're all, I see, we all kind of have a level playing field. Yes, and that's what's the hardest part about this, is kind of narrowing that down, because we have all played, and I mean, finally I've won something, but I mean like, before that I was like, mm -hmm. But wouldn't you want to compete against like, people who kind of play similar yeah. to you? And I just no, like, I, I, think, about that. Like, I think that kind of just be, it'd be an exciting finale, yeah. you just kind of see how everything right. falls. And of course we can talk about actually. Yeah, can, I talk I, can I talk to her real quick? I was gonna try to talk to can her. Can we all talk or do you need a minute? Uh, one yes, second. Yeah, you're next, Shane. I promise, I promise. It's pretty subtle. Are you gonna put? I would, cause like in my mind, I was like, you put Jace at the bottom. He's gonna switch himself from the bottom and put Derek there. I I want to put Jace down there for formalities because he burned me like Mr. Jones already, and so he's gonna see it coming, and it's not gonna be like bad blood or anything because like he's already dumped me like multiple times. And I'm thinking just to kind of like protect us all because yeah. you're the top of the total yeah. pole. If I tell Derek, hey, I'll save you, just take power. It'd be dirty. Yep. But it's it's a game. But I'm looking out. Like I wanna. You gotta look out for yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling confident that I can be the switch. Yeah, well, and so I don't even put me in the bottom. That makes me feel okay. okay. So that so that's where I'm. Dude, I would legit would have never put you at the bottom. Yeah. Like I would legit would have never done that to yeah. you, and that, it really yeah. when you did that because I would have never done that to you. Uh, like I literally told Kadia last night, like I want me, you, and Jace to get there. I literally said that to her, like I would have never done that to you, like never done that. Right. So I really me up when you did that. Yeah. Right. That's genuine. I know, like afterwards it was kind of hectic, but right now I'm saying, like I, that literally like mm -hmm. that's with me because I would have yeah. never done that to you. Right. No, no, I totally, I mean, that, I understand that mm -hmm. completely. Um, for right now, um, I'm trying, I'm trying, whoever I put in the bottom, if I'm the switch, 
I'm trying to ensure that I'm gonna wind up with the least amount of votes mm -hmm. in the voting round, you know? Right. Um, well, because for some reason I have a hard time believing whoever whoever gets sent down well, to the room do is, that isn't gonna take power. You all know? you can do right now is just put your word in people and take that trust back. So all I'm gonna say is, if you don't switch me, Jace, I promise you we can go to final three together. If you don't switch me, I promise you that. Okay. I promise you. I'm not asking you to select me as your defender. I would save you with that. Let me tell I, you, if I'm at the bottom. <laughs> oh yeah, God, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, but I legit. <laughs> if I'm not the switch and I'm at the bottom, I'm gonna. No, you're not the switch. Yeah, you're at the bottom. Know. It's probably it's four of us. Yeah, four of us. We can just um, no four of us voting. No five of us voting. That'll be four of us voting for whoever goes home. We have some losers. We get past losers. I will, I will chase. I'm telling you, I will literally go to a tie. Dude, I literally want I I want to work with you. You over first. Yeah, I, I don't know. So. Do you have to take my word? But it's just like to this point, like you, you're my biggest, you know, threat. No, I get that, but I wasn't so, looking at you yeah. like that. I feel the same way about you, but I wasn't looking at you like that though, because we I thought we were allies, you know. Yeah. So that's what's up. Yeah. But it was just, it was just getting late game, mm -hmm. you know, and with like Luke and Kitty being my strongest allies at the point. Like, but now you don't have that. I hope yeah. that you know, <laughs> like this. <laughs> Thank God. So yeah, he's the last person I want to work with right now, but. At this moment, he's all I've got, and so maybe we can make a deal. I don't, we'll see. Who knows? I hope you'll pick save. Yeah, oh, as a defender, I was like, we were as a defender. My my order right now that I'm placing is with me, him because he put me on second. Yes, yes, yes. You, okay. Derek, and Jace. Okay. So we're fine. pretty positive. Jace, Jace is a switch. switch. Jace. We think it's gonna be Derek. He wants to switch to Derek. That's what he told me too. We'll see though. You mm. never know. But I really want you guys to have each other's backs. No, I so, do. So if either of y'all get it. We've been talking about it. Yeah. 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 And I, I trust both of you yeah. the most. Can I ask you guys, are you okay with this final three? Yes. Is yes. this what you guys want? I yes. Want, no, okay. I want this. And it's really been since day one. Yeah. And it's crazy. We're day here. one, round one. Yes. Like, I don't see it. Okay. Okay, okay. let's do this. Yeah. We got this. Yeah. I, think it's matter I know. One. Yep. Yep. Congratulations, Sabrina. You are the final top of the totem pole. You are also in the final three. Yay. And we're about to decide who else is in the final three with you. You must now place your totem pole from top to bottom. Okay. There are no safe spots. Okay, okay guys, so I kind of already pretty much laid out what I'm going to be doing. Um, it's all going to depend on the switch and defender, to be honest. So mm -hmm. I don't want anybody to have any hard feelings of what I'm doing here. It is the end of the game, and it's kind of what we just have to do. Mm -hmm. um, so just placing these based off of previous relationships and things that have been done to me. Um, Karma's case, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so here we go. <laughs> okay, so Josh. Shane. I know, right? <laughs> okay, so Jason, Derek, again, no hard feelings, you know, because I said it's all about to change, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, so Derek and then Jace. I think that Jace is going to be the switch, but regardless of that, I'm still putting him at the bottom. And everybody else, though, is still going to be up for the vote. Uh, there's no safe spots left, so either way, it doesn't really matter who I put where. Um, but I feel good. I'm comfortable because I'm in the only technically safe spot now. And again, I'm guaranteed to the final three. Um, but we'll see what happens if Jace gets picked for the switch. I know that since we literally just sent out Kadia and Luke back to back, who are Jace's number one allies, they're going to get together and they're going to give Jace a switch. Is Jace going to save himself this round? I'm, if he gets the switch, he's in a good position. Jace, you are the bottom of the totem pole. And now it's time for the switch. The last two eliminated players decided on a switch. And they selected... Jace, you are the switch. Okay. <laughs> Jace, please come up and change two positions on the Shane, I'm sorry. James, 
Why? Leave me alone in this game. I just want to make it to the end. You've had your chance. Let me have mine. Jay switches Shane, which I'm not expecting. I thought he would switch Derek because they were kind of having their own problems in beef. Um, so that's terrible for my alliance because again, I'm working really closely with Shane. Shane, you are the bottom of the totem pole. You must now come up and select a defender. They can either save you or take power in the game. If they do, you're eliminated. So this decision isn't easy. Um, I've worked with both Derek and Josh in this game. Jay's clearly based on an opposite <laughs> You can beat me! <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah, I think we didn't work together. Yeah, uh, it makes total sense. I still don't believe I'll, I'll step back and be quiet, you know? Beautiful. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that would be right. Um, between you two, I really trust you both, and I think you'd both do the right choice in this spot. Um, however, I'm going to give it to Derek right now. My office. Um, and oh, let him go down for a fourth time. <laughs> and it will make some fun decisions. Yes, so, absolutely. Thank you. Gotcha. All right, Derek, come with me. I know Derek's been the defender three times already, and he's chosen to take power twice already. This is a risky move. Shane picks Derek as his defender, even after I told him I would save him. And in my mind, it's kind of like, do you not believe me? Like, we've been working, you know, pretty close this entire time. I put my trust to you, you know, a few times in this game, and I thought you would have returned the same favor, and you chose Derek. And I was going to save him. At this point, I'm like, you're my ally, and like, if I have to take a risk, I'm going to take a risk. And he, it didn't seem like he was really going to take that risk with me. Thank the Lord, Shane picks Derek because there ain't no way Derek saves Shane. Ain't no way. N ain't no way. Ain't th there's there's no way. No way. No. I'm making it work. Me and Derek are about to be in the final three. I'm <laughs> what? I sit down with Derek. We have a one-on-one -on -one conversation, and we pinky promise that he would save me. However, before we let go of the pinky promise, I told him that if he screwed me over and took power in the game, I would make sure that he would not win this game, I would not vote for him in the game, and I would try my best to make sure no one would vote for him in the end. So I'm really feeling the pressure to keep my word and not to backstab Shane because I know that if I'm in the final three, I want any votes that I can get to win the game because that's what I came here for, to win the total poll. I think I've taken what? Three of these out of these boxes. There's one power lift, two saves. <laughs> I really like Shane though, so I can't do Shane like that. But I want to win the game though, so. And if I take this, Shane leaves, only, uh, that means we're only voting one out. <laughs> if I take that, we're going to go two. So Shane said that, and I haven't broken one kinky promise this entire game. And I made one with Shane and said I would pick him. I would save him if he put this if he put me down here. To be honest, I just wanted to come down here. But he also I, he, he also said that if I said that I would save him and didn't save him, that I would lose his vote in the jury, which the whole jury thing freaking hates me anyway. So that's just one more. Um, However. A power does mean that I'm in this final four, and we all know I love power. So if I can take that power card and get myself to the final four, Shane, keep your vote, buddy. Well, right. The only thing stopping me from like just grabbing that now is I know that it's gonna affect me in some way. But if I get this, that'll affect me too, but in a better way. Derek, you were once again the defender. Shane, he could either save you or take power in the game. And he selected. To save. 
you. No problem, seriously. Thank you so much. What? Derek, you saved? Of all the times, of all the times to make power, you need the power right now. You need it, and you're gonna save? Oh. Oh, for the last time, for the, where's the strategy? Where's the strategy? I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. Mm, it's over. But, with that, it's come, why is it so long? Oh. <laughs> Read it already, oh my god. Oh wow, okay. Domino effect. As a defender, I had the option to eliminate you. I decided to save you. But with that comes baggage. <laughs> Everyone is removed from the totem pole. The top of the totem pole goes back to the top position. The bottom of the totem pole goes to the number two placement. Now, place players must select who is in the position below them. We will keep going until a player is at the bottom of the totem pole. Whoever is placed at the bottom is eliminated. Because of that save card, Sabrina, you are the top of the totem pole. You are the bottom of the totem pole, but you're now in number two. You will select who is number three. Number three will select who is number four. And number four will select who is number five. Whoever is number five is out. You can now make your placement. Um, let me just say, um, Jace, we haven't worked together. I will continue to say it. Both Not of you, <laughs> we've worked together. You're both telling me the same thing. So I'm gonna test your words now, um, and I'm gonna follow my gut with this. You've both stuck your neck out for me, um, and I've fought for both of you this entire game as well. So it really comes down to what you're both telling me at this point. I'm gonna make the move that I think is best for me, and then you both tell me exactly what you're gonna do, so I expect it to happen, um, and we'll move forward from there, okay? Um, so between the two of you, So I decided to save Shane and I also unleashed some baggage into the game. And that baggage is we're about to redo the whole totem pole. The person at the bottom is going home. So obviously me saving Shane, I'm expecting Shane to pick me first. That doesn't happen. He decides he's gonna pick Josh first. Josh, you're now gonna select the position below you. That means you're also selecting who's in the bottom. Please select. I had to choose between Derek and Jace. And this is the toughest decision I have to make in this game. I have worked very closely with Jason every single round. Me and Derek have a relationship together where we're looking out for each other. It's kind of what this game has been doing to me all season is, is I, I, I get kicked in the teeth and then there's just a little bit more rope given to me and I can hang on for a little bit longer. And me and Josh have been tight. We've been really tight for a lot of the game. And I know he kind of picked his side, uh, but I feel, I feel good that he's closer with me than Derek. Um, strategically, it makes sense for him to pick Derek. But me and him have had this conversation. And multiple times. I've told him I don't want another Hannah situation. I don't want to get stabbed in the back at the end. I have worked with both of you very you know, like closely throughout the game. Um, but it comes down to This one's really hard. It comes in a I think it comes down to the person who. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Um, Jace, I've been working with these four pretty closely since round one. Um, this is my baggage. 
this is what I've been carrying this entire game is, is this exact moment. And I'm, I'm holding on to a snowball's chance that it goes different this time. That Josh holds his word to me, stays true, and and carries me to uh, to the vote. Jace is a returning player, and although, yeah, I did say I want to go against him, like, sometimes you have to take a step back and think about what you're actually saying, and does it make sense? It's gonna have to be you, buddy, I'm so sorry. With that, Jace, you are the bottom of the totem pole, and you have been eliminated. Good game, seriously. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. I don't know why I thought it would be any different. Uh, I don't know why I let myself believe I had a shot. Uh, I, I did well. Season two came back to haunt me, and I don't I don't know why I'm surprised, but I am. Here I am, so close, and I'm going home. And now I've got two knives sitting in my back. <laughs> Frick! It sucks. Gosh. Oh, this is where it gets brutal. I know. Mm -hmm. thing. Right. He was like, win this thing. And that's when I knew, <laughs> that's when I knew at that moment, I was like, Jace believes in me, and I think he understands this move that I made, and he's not going to be upset with, with me towards the end. So it was really nice to see that from him, and I just, I love him. Jace, I love you. I, that's all I can say. Definitely as a fan, you know, watching season two, I'm like, oh, Jace at first, and then like growing to like him when I'm rewatching the season, to playing with him and just like, like falling in love with the guy. Have you seen him? He smiles, you know, he laughs, he's just, he's just his, you know, himself. And like literally, you, when you meet him, you really can't help but fall in love with that personality. And I, I did, I did, but at the same time, I can't, some relationships have to end. And I had to end that one at that moment. Enjoy that bed, man. You made it, and now you're sleeping in it. I had your back from the jump. You screwed me over, and I'm so happy that I was able to take out not just you, but your alliance with you. Deuces. I fought so hard to just relive season two. It just sucks. All those words you said to me, all those, hey man, I want the best three in the final three. I don't want it to be no sleepers. I don't want it to be, um, I want to be sitting up there with the three best people. You, Shane, and Sabrina. Come on, man. I don't know. At least Derek's up front. At least he'll stab you in the back, like, and get it over with. I don't know. Congratulations, Final Four. Yes. You are now going to strategize and go to a vote. The player that is voted out of this game is not in the Final Three. Then you will face the jury, and we will have a winner. God. You're almost there. Almost. <laughs> all right. Good luck. Go strategize. I'm like, all right. I'm not gonna flop because I can't. I just made this move. I sent Jason. That was that was me. I was given the power to pick between Derek 
or Jace. And I chose to send home Jace. So of course, if I'm gonna make a move like that and someone tells me to win this, I can't let them down. More importantly, I can't let myself down. Love it too. Um, I'm Okay, okay, I'm just scared Derek's coming for you right now. He he will be, so because he's close with you, and mm -hmm. he just stuck his neck out for you. Yes. So one you both have stuck your neck out for me this game, so it's rough. And but you, me, and Sabrina have been close, and I've been close to Derek. That too. was the final three I stuck. I know. With, and like Same. I've made it clear. Oh yeah. When I stacked yep. that totem pole. Yeah. The thing with it too is like you showed your cards in that round where you won totem pole. Mm -hmm. Derek hasn't had the opportunity to until right now where he did save me at this point in the game and both were very big moves. Um, that's why it's like, I still need to figure this out. I'm not 100% decided. So as we're talking about the vote, it's me, Derek and Shane who are up for elimination. And me and Shane's first conversation, Shane flat out tells me, he's like, hey, I'm undecided. And I'm like, excuse me? He's like, yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. And I'm like, well, me and you, we've been working pretty close together, and I I know he was thinking endgame, and like I know he saw my game, but there is absolutely no way he thinks he stands a chance of beating Derek. Derek at the end. At this point, Derek has obtained a crown. He is the king of this season at this moment, and if anyone's gonna go against the king, it's not gonna be you guys. You guys aren't gonna be Derek. I just think with Derek, if he makes the final three, do you he, think he would win? He has a fighting story. He went he's out. Been, he's, he's gone out. He's come came back, back in. And he's been a defender four, four times. Four times. And I he know. saved two people. I know. So, and then he what what his move did when he took Kadia out? He saved Jackie and me. Correct. Okay. And but Jackie's he, on the jury. But the thing is, when he took Kadia out, mm -hmm. he saved all of us. And it's he's true. going to use that on his resume. Yeah. And the thing is, like, he's been such a big power player. Mm -hmm. Having him in the final three talking against you mm -hmm. and Sabrina, I just don't think. I know. His voice is just very. It, and it, I think it, you making him, like, I. Jace. Yeah. And I've worked with Jace. And, and I, I think you've and worked I gave closely. you the opportunity, too. Mm -hmm. I gave you and Derek the opportunity, too, because you both told me the same thing. You were both going to take Jace out. And I said, mm -hmm. okay. And I truly do think okay. this this final three that we like we we stuck made to. in the beginning like yeah. I think we need to stick to that because we okay. we've been here the whole time together. I know it's been a wild <laughs> ride. Okay. Derek is scrambling as he knows Josh, Sabrina, and myself have been working close together throughout this whole entire game. He knows that he's in danger coming up with this vote, and I really don't know if I'm going to be voting him out 100% quite yet. So I take the time to talk to Josh talk to Sabrina and talk to Derek and hear all all of their opinions out. It doesn't feel good that the unofficials are literally having to fight against each other. We're having to chew each other's heads off. We knew it would come to this point, but to actually be here in this moment, it does not feel good. But I didn't come here to lose this game. I didn't come here to play for somebody else. And I dang sure did not come here to sit and just let somebody walk all over me. I have to save myself in this round. I gotta do what I have to do. I have to. Right. Neither has freaking neither has um uh chain yeah i am you can't say I, both of them oh hold on <laughs> you're saying like there's no way like I, nobody's y'all don't know who's gonna win out of that three no for sure i feel like that final three is i think it's very similar yeah like we have very similar games and that definitely is worrisome because we are all on the same points mm -hmm. Um, I definitely am worried about Shane because I feel like he has a lot of He has so many jury. friends out there, so many friends out there. And I feel like those people are probably already advocating for yes. him. He literally so hasn't, he even though nobody has said one bad thing about Shane. No, I haven't heard, no. No, Josh, I haven't heard people say things about Josh. I nobody has said one bad thing about Shane. Right. So my thing is, I just know that on a viewer standpoint, it's not good for you to sit next to right. them. And I'm not trying to tell you like to not vote no, for no. me, but I'm I just totally saying like, you from. know, because with me, like, at least you know, like, I this. No, you're right. Like, probably like and half like I said the jury before, there's also like a come out double entendre. Right, there's a double which I get that. Right. I'm not trying to knock that, but I'm saying No, no, like, totally. But I get there's like, yeah, there yeah, is yeah, a possibility yeah, yeah, that yeah. could just go not your way at right, all. Right, right, right. But there is a possibility that, that like could. people could respect your but game because chances, you made so many chance moves. Chance wise, your chances against them versus me is a lot less, more slim. No, and, and, and I'm, I'm, I am leaning towards that. I told that. you from the beginning, like, I wanted to like work with you and take you from the beginning to the end. No, I know. Yeah, I know. We did talk about that as well. Yeah. So that's why it's so hard now because. All four of us have said the same things right, to right, each right, other, right. and so that's where I'm trying to figure out what's going to be best for me to win, mm -hmm. and because that's where we are now. You have a good game, though. You played a good game, so you have a big chance. But I just don't think that's your best chance. Right, and I don't like not agree with you mm -hmm. on that. To be like honestly, Who would you? Serena's safe, so it's literally just going to be between Josh and Shane and myself. 
I have to try to save myself. I'm literally just gonna say whatever I can to save myself. My main thing is just to try to push the fact that those three can't sit next to each other. They all have very strong resumes. They've all played together since the beginning. Me on the other hand, I pissed off so many people. I've made people cry, I have lied, I've backstabbed people, I have not made people very happy in this game at all. So my main focus right now is to just try to get those three to just realize that they can't sit next to each other. Like, if there's no way that they can sit next to each other. Even though we finally get Jace out and we're in the final four, there's still one more vote left. And we have to decide who is gonna be in the final three with myself. And Derek, he tells me that he thinks that we should vote out Shane because Shane has been a big social threat this entire game. We think he's got a good amount of jury votes ahead of him. And Derek tells me that he does not think that I can win against Shane and Josh, which Derek has a point because Shane does have a lot of friends in the jury. Shane has had a great social game and he's not really pissed anybody off. So I see where Derek's coming from. But when I win, Josh wants to vote out Derek too. He wants okay, us okay. three to go to the end together. Okay. And I was like, I'm not 100% sure right now because I want to hear Derek out too. Yeah, I'm saying I told um, I told everybody like I want to hear every single person. And so what's Derek saying? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So what he's worried about is the fact that you've made a lot of friends in Germany. He's, he has Which, a bigger game than anybody. Else. And that's why I'm nervous too because Derek was saying like I know so many enemies, I always speak with people, but I told and I told straight up to his face, I was like, you have he's, played a good game though. He's gone out, and he's come, come back, back, he made Final Four, yep. he's been Defender four times, yes. saved two people. Tote powers. I've been a he's, Switch once. Right, same. <laughs> but like, what is that? I haven't won a single challenge. Right. Okay, I have a friend so, or two. Right, and that's why, and that, now that you're saying that, it makes mm -hmm. it more clear to me yeah. about Derek's Yes. So. And Josh wants to move out, so if three of us stick together, then we can make a friend of yeah, and that's what Josh wants. Okay. Because Derek's telling me he wants to take out Josh. And when I told you, I told me New York. She thinks you're coming for me. Why would I say that? We, <laughs> me, um, her and I just had a talk. We went, Shane's the most likely to win the game. I told her there's no way that she can literally sit next to both of y'all. Y'all play stellar games. There's no way she can sit next to both of y'all. So Shane has to go. You can't sit next to both of them. You know, Shane, no. Why would y'all all three want to sit next to each other? I, I, I'm trying to figure it out. He thinks you're coming for me and you're not coming for me. Josh, when, why would I come for you? Hold that thought. Right now, I'm feeling a little frustrated because Derek comes out and we're talking about like the vote and who's voting for who, but you can't just go and tell Shane, hey, I'm gonna vote out Josh, that come to you, you're gonna vote out Shane, but that's the, that's the only option you have, buddy! Like, you gotta give us something different. You're not giving us reasons why you voted out this person or that person. You're saying, hey, I'm gonna do the other person. What makes you think I'm coming for Josh? What? What makes you think I was going for Josh? For Josh? Yeah. No, so let me clarify this. We talked, mm -hmm. and you think Derek might be voting me. And that was a speculation. I that's what it was. If you're not voting me, then Okay. You well, I just know if you tell like, Josh, like, oh, like, Derek's, like, already sitting, like, he's voting for you type well, thing. Well, if you told me you're not voting me, then it only means you're voting for Josh. That's the only assumption it was. Correct. Okay. So that's all I took Because we can't as. vote Sabrina, so, like... Okay. And it wasn't, like, anything malicious. It's literally just... It's just between us three. And if I'm being told by one person that they're not voting for me, it automatically makes me assume they're only voting this Right, no, it's fine. I'll just make sure it yeah. wasn't like done and like saying no. I was like being shady about it. No, 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 he no, wasn't no. being shady. The okay. thing no. he said was like, right, I think he's that. voting no, no, you. No, sorry, no I'm, I've never been shady in this game. I'm very transparent right. with everyone. Yes, so, you have. Mm -hmm. And I'm honest about it also. Okay. Nothing Forget malicious, I promise. Okay, I'm right. gonna go finish talking to Yeah, sure, sure, sure. We'll talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has a point. No, he does, that's my point. He's never been malicious in this game and he hasn't pissed anybody off and he hasn't lied to anyone. He just said it himself. Josh, he's not, you can't sit next to both of them, dude. Like, I don't know why I even have to sit here and like fight this with y'all. Y'all three cannot sit next to each other. Y'all can't. That's a good point. Y'all cannot sit, I just so sad, like I talked to her. She said, y'all have similar games and that's 100% truth. Y'all cannot sit next to each other. I gave my word day one. I said I was gonna look out for my people. My people was gonna be in the end with me and we said that one of us was gonna win the game. He's very undecided. You're saying you're voting the key. I'm decided. You're, you're keeping I'm me? Just, I, Josh, 100%. I never even, I, of course I'm going to tell him that I'm not voting him out, but I never once even crossed my mind of getting rid of you. I sat on the couch and I told Sab, he needed to go. Legit, you can ask Sab about the conversation. She asked me, who do you think needs to go the most? And I said, he needs to go just because he hasn't pissed nobody off. I've had not heard nobody say one bad thing about him. You on the other hand, people have said things. Me on the other hand, of course, I've pissed the whole damn jury off by that. Sab, obviously, no, she can't piss him off. We can't do anything to her. Y'all cannot sit next to each other. 
you three sit next to each other is suicide for two of y'all, period. Okay. It's gonna be suicide for two of us anyway, but I think the chances is better is if I'm there versus if all three of y'all sit next to each other. Okay. Josh. I'll give you my word for the job. If we're right. looking out for each other, for real, like looking out for Josh. our people, like I got you. Josh. For real. I t from the jump, what did I say? We're, I wanted one of us to win the game. Yeah. My people to get to where we got. It sucks that the kid had to go out as she would, but we all know why she went out like that. She That's what I said. Okay, so I vote them. What are your thoughts? Okay, so talking to Derek, he wants Shane. Yes. Okay. But talking to Shane, he wants Derek. Did he wants Derek out? Yes. Yeah. So so Derek wants Shane out, Shane wants Derek out. That's okay. what I've been told. Um, so I see the value in both because Shane has a lot of friends downstairs. Because I think him and Shane will get together and be like, all right, let's vote Josh. And then it will tie, and then it'll be Derek versus me in um, like a rock draw. Right. And Shane would be willing to do yeah. that. Because I mean, you you were the first person that came to me for any kind of game. Mm -hmm. like, you were like the first person to say, I want to work with you. So like, I want to do what I can to get you there. Well, because we both made icon, like we, oh, yeah. we, we were like, we're, we, we really know. Like, this, yeah. Yeah. like you were the first person to come up to me. So I want you in there, mm -hmm. 100%. I want to fight against you. Yes. Like, and so I, that's, what, that's my plan. And if it's Shane or Derek, we'll fight against him. Okay, so sorry about that. I just, you know how I am when it happens and she has like that on shape. No, and I'd rather it mm -hmm. be brought up than just sit there and you not know what's going right, on. Right, right, right. So, my thing is, y'all two, y'all can't sit next to each other. Who? Y'all three. There's no way that y'all three can sit next to each other. I know. Why do you think that? Like, what is your saying? Look at the like, game. Y'all yes. have played three very strong games. Mm -hmm. and you you're, pissed, you're saying you're, you haven't played a strong game? I've, well, let me finish. Yeah. Story. You haven't pissed anybody off in the jury. You haven't. Okay. You had a lot of friends down there. I have two. I'm saying a lot of people who like respect you and they would vote for you. In the I will end. say their names. It's Jackie and Madison. Mm -hmm. Those well, are the only two people I've worked with. Right, right. I'm not, not saying work, but I'm saying like not pissing anybody off. Yeah. My point is, Sab on the other hand, Sab isn't pissing anybody off. She has people who like her. Mm -hmm. she, she's a girl. So she has that up on uh, us being a girl in the final three. I don't mean that offensive. No, 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 I'm saying no, no, there's no. a bunch yeah. of girls downstairs. Yeah. Um, Josh, yes. on the other hand, mm -hmm. hasn't pissed anybody off, mm -hmm. made a bunch of friends won some challenges mm -hmm. and I just feel like y'all sitting next to each other is just suicide like mm -hmm. all three of y'all did not should not sit next to each other and I just I'm I'm probably the best option to take for so you want to take out Josh I, I will take out Josh but I don't like the fact that I know that I told you that but I don't like mm -hmm. the fact that you told Josh that like well, that Derek I mean, is gone which I get that but I'm saying like I get that oh it's, there's no other option but you're just saying like oh Derek's gonna vote for you that well, like, like to be fair like it wasn't anything malicious, mm -hmm. and it genuinely was. No, I get that. I, I heard get both that. of you. So right, like, right, right. And if you're both saying each other's names, then I'm right. I just want the chance like, to talk to Josh. No, myself yeah, of versus, course. You know, hearing um, from someone else. But I do want to bring up. You told Sabrina that you wanted to vote me. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I told Sabrina that uh, she asked, mm -hmm. "Who would you rather of the two? And the only reason I said you is because she said mm -hmm. we were talking about the the comparisons. She even mentioned like you haven't pissed anybody off. She mm -hmm. the reason I said you have the most friends. She said you had the most friends mm -hmm. on the jury. The only thing they're going to be talking about in there is going against right. Me. And so I understand the premise of going against people that like play the game really well. But at the same time, it's a game and you want to win. We just so took like, out. We all just took out James. Yes. Collectively. And so like I feel I feel good with the fact that we can we have somebody that we could potentially be and somebody that's going to be tougher. Mm -hmm. And I, that, that makes me feel good, and I'm fine with that. Like, I don't want to pick Derek just to say, like, he's a strong player, but I want to beat him. Like, I want to win, too. Like, yeah. there's other ways to do that. I legit... I believe... I mean, mm -hmm. I, I, I told you, I, I think you yeah. got a lot of friends on the jury. Also, Josh has been in the switch before, too. The only reason with Jackie and Madison is because we had an alliance between us two, mm -hmm. us three. Mm -hmm. and we made it after everything happened with Madison, where she was like on the bottom, mm -hmm. and everyone ran away with Jace when he won top of the totem pole. Us three were the only three out there, and we were just like, clearly like, everyone's trying to like, get Madison out and whatnot, so it just felt like a good moment for mm -hmm. me to make a new connection, and that's the only reason why I have their votes. Right, right. And they both went out in the same round, and then I have you guys. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's literally all it was, so it's, it's not that I had like, friends it was just it was a moment where we realized we were on the bottom mm -hmm. with Jace so and it, it, clearly they both went home right so that's all it was you yeah. well uh, my mindset is I just think, I just think y'all three sitting next to each other is just brutal I don't see why I'm not an option mm -hmm. well, I'm not saying I'm not an option but I don't see why that I just I just don't think that I don't know I just I, I can't see y'all sitting next to each other yeah. so you want to go to or you want to Yeah.
and then Sabrina's telling me that he's pitching me you to, to both of us. No, no, no. Oh, to you yes. and Sabrina. So me and Sabrina just we just compared notes. He literally said we can't win against you. That's he's not. He's literally saying we can't win against you. Yeah. He's saying you, me, Sap can't sit next to each other. But he told Sap, so I think he's truly voting you out. I think so. Because he told Sap the same thing. Mm -hmm. Unless whatever, unless there's some other conversation going yeah. on. But like, he literally told me and Sap mm -hmm. the exact same thing. Yeah. Like, we can't win against you. But well, he has, like, on that jury, who's trusting him right now? Jackie. Mm -hmm. He saved Jackie. He saved Jackie. He put his neck out of the line for who else did he save on the jury? He saved me. He if saved I go you. out right now, he more than likely has my vote. Correct. Because he saved me, mm -hmm. and then he's making a big move here too. Like and that's that. not no matter what happens. Like literally, it's been a fun game, but at the same time, like he's played such an amazing game. I tell Josh that if I am to go out this round, Derek has my vote to win this game, and I will try my very best to make sure he does win this game. Like I said, I'm, that's why I'm wait, I'm really like this in my head mm -hmm. because of that for sure, wishing because that is that is scary because like jury votes are everything, but then it's also scary for you because. You literally were voted out, came back. You were the defender four times. Mm -hmm. You had got people to trust you to be mm -hmm. defender. Mm -hmm. You picked save and power. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like you're you're kind of like you had a good. I know we keep saying this, but you had a good arc mm -hmm. in this game. But I just, where I think he deserves to win. Correct. So we would have to fight against him, him. If, if he's in the finals. Yeah. Mean you can't fight we, against him. We wouldn't be able to. One Correct. Because one of us would be out. So, so he just, it's like he's played such a good game. He played the whole card like you know like we've been working together from the beginning. But like I had a fun with you and Sabrina from day one, and that's something we all can like yeah. say. Oh yeah. We did that we together. Did yeah. And the thing with it though is us three work together. I think we have very equal games. And he was like, No, no, you have a lot of friends on the jury. And I said, I have Madison and I have Jackie. Those are the only two I feel comfortable that may vote for me mm -hmm. because they voted for me to be the switch. Doesn't mean they think I played the best game. They felt I was in danger and that I needed some type of power. And they gave it to me in that moment. And here we are, it helped us get to the final four. Yep. So that being said, it's like, you have friends on there. Sab has friends on there. He's giving me reasons for everyone. If this is why they're gonna win. This is why they may have get votes and blah, 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 blah. Like all this stuff. Mm -hmm. So. That was a moment. Yep. So, yeah. Start with this. Apparently, um, Sabrina thinks I need to talk to you. Go ahead. So. Well, I know when you and Shane are talking, mm -hmm. you're pitching. Obviously, I'm not going to tell him that much, Shane. Yeah. You so, have to believe me. So, I'm like at this point, we're going, you out, we're going back and forth. We're literally just going back and forth. We're going to say the exact same things to each other. I'm ready to vote. I'm still not ready. I'm going to keep going. So, I will, wait, let me say this. I will go to a tie. I'm only going to type in. Like I want, I legit want us to be there. Mm -hmm. So I would do whatever that takes for us to be there. Because they're gonna be like, there, honestly. That's so real, man. Mm -hmm. Like so real. This is my first game. This is your second or third, second, second. So I literally want us both to be there. Get our first wins. Let's do it. Let's see. I hope. I hope you're doing funny faces behind my back. Are we good to vote? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's well just vote, guys. Okay. Ew, let's one more group hug. It, seriously, no. Genuinely, whatever happens, I love you guys. What a fun game. Hey, let's go vote. Let's go vote and get this game over with. Please. We're close. Please. Perfect, we're ready. Oh. It's raining, finally. I know, right? <laughs> the end of the day. <laughs> Final four. It is time for the vote. Derek, I'm so sorry, but sitting next to you in the end, none of us stand a chance. I vote to eliminate you. My vote is for Derek. I'm sorry, I enjoyed working with you. You were a great Alliance member, um, but I don't think I stand a chance against you in the final three. I have a very strong bond with Josh. Uh, Josh and I relate on levels that's different just outside of the game. I told Josh in the very beginning of the game that I wanted one of us to win. And it, it goes deeper than just being here and playing a game with each other. So with that being said, I'm going to have to put my vote on Shane. So I vote to eliminate Shane. I vote to eliminate Derek. All of the votes are in. With a majority of the vote, Derek, you have been eliminated. You can say your goodbyes and walk out the front door. Derek, I'm sorry. I made that move. But we all. 
I for yeah, my for my game, I think that was the best move. Mm -hmm. I just I don't I couldn't know who was voting for. I'm not upset with you guys. I'm not upset. I'm happy and I got here. I'm so happy for all three of y'all. I just don't understand. I just want you to know something about me. Okay. And when I like when I go to fight in the end, I don't want to fight against somebody who I think I like, can't win against. Mm -hmm. And I think me taking these two or them taking me really, I have a fighting chance against anyone. Like I don't count anyone. It's funny that all three of y'all think that y'all can beat each other. I feel it's very equal. I don't. I feel that it's very equal. Y'all think y'all had a better chance if I was there? Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, you! I can give you the rundown. Let me give you the rundown. It's nothing but respect. No, I know. That. We, I know. That. That's why I'm not upset. And we I, both I, I get and you. we literally both said had. It just sucks. If know, we both left, it would have been. We would have like, like, voted for you. So that's two votes for you. You would have had. Um, you would have to be You only need four votes. One more. You probably would have had juice. So that's four. You would have won this game. I get it. It was I'm your really game to win. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I'm so proud of you. You played a great <laughs> game. Thank y'all. Seriously. So and that is the reason. Like, no, just, yeah, just, that's I'm happy for you. Like I said, yeah. I'm happy for y'all. So, it's a good game. It sucks, but fourth place, I should have been 12. So here I am. Right. Okay, so, good game. Seriously. Group hug. 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 Group Good game, everybody. Yeah, good no hard feelings. So happy for all y'all. I'm about to go get fresh. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. We all look good at this finale. Yeah, we all look good. And we'll catch my whole one, y'all. Good luck. Yeah. All right. Thank you. It's the game. Right Here we go again. <laughs> Listen, wait, 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 wait. No worries this time. I ain't coming back. <laughs> Derek, you hands down played one of the best games here gaining people's trust to be the defender four times is insane. You know how to talk the talk and walk the walk. You were a powerhouse, I respect you, but I had no chance against you. I'm so sorry, all love. Derek has made this such an epic season because he was so in your face and didn't care, but I think it was even more epic that my lines took him out. Derek, since round one, me and you have been working together. We we had each other's back to some extent, and we knew we were gonna carry each other as far as we could in this game. But I think you 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 know yourself what type of game you played. You you absolutely killed it. You like if you put you next to me, you demolished me in this game. And I just cannot take you to the final three where you even get a chance to scream and yell and you know just be yourself you know and convince a jury to vote for you and counting the votes it's just it's way too close to bring you um i love you so much derek i have you know i have nothing but love for you you're one of my new friends now and i just i can't wait to continue our journey outside of this outside of this game what a journey i had such a good season and into your final four. Uh, I played hard, I fought hard, I played from the jump. I did not sit down and sleep. I was not a sleeper. I didn't come here to go to sleep. I came here to play a game. I came here to win the totem pole. Unfortunately, that's not happening, but I played one hell of a game, and I'm sure this is not the last time you'll be seeing me. Congratulations, final three. You have made it to the finale. You will now face the jury where they will decide a winner. I didn't come into this game with baggage with anybody but myself. I have played reality competitions online and live in person. And to be honest with you, I haven't really done the best in those competitions. I, you know, sometimes will make it a little far, sometimes I don't. But usually in those games, I feel like I'm weaker and I just don't really, don't have what everyone else has to, to win anything. And I, I want this win more than anything. I want to prove to myself that I can, I can play these competitions. I can, you know, talk to people, form these relationships, make moves that make sense, have the strategy, and win. I want to win. I, I want to win so much. I came into this game owning who I was and just knowing how much Totem Pole meant to me and how much this format means to me. And it was, it was my game. This was my game the entire time. I was myself and I, I'm ready. I'm ready to defend myself, talk about myself and see if I got this. But I, I got this, I'm gonna win. This is my game.
I think I should win because I had a great social strategy game. Um, I made so many connections with different people. I kept myself out of the bottom for most of the game. I won at top of the totem pole when it really, really counted. And I feel like I adapted so well to this game. I made really quick decisions when I really needed to that saved my butt. And I knew who to align with that would take me to the finals. I was with an alliance who took out big threats, including Jace and Derek. And it's been such a crazy difficult season and I got through it and made it to the finals. So I think I deserve to win. At the beginning of this game, I came in wanting to play a dominant social game. I knew from the very beginning I needed to make connections with as many people as possible and that started in the very first challenge. Moving forward, planting little seeds here and there from people, taking the names people were throwing at me and spreading them around kept everyone's crosshairs off of me throughout the entire game. Up until about oh, final seven, I wasn't in much danger because of my social connections in the game. Moving on from the final seven was where I struggled most in the game. However, my social connections from the very beginning of the game with Sabrina, Derek, and Josh pulled through, helping me make it here to the end. Without those three, I couldn't have done this. Without those three, Derek being my shield, Josh being information from the other side, and Sabrina being my ride or die, I couldn't have done this without them. Although each of these players have really formed and helped shape my game, I still think I deserve to win this game. I played a dominant social game planting seeds, twisting people's arms, and using all of that to my leverage throughout the entire season. I deserve this win. I played a dominant social game. No one has anything on me.